Hello, 60 to me. It's Eileen Marcus to talk about why I'm having a lot of car accidents lately. Actually, I can't tell you why. It's just the universe doing something. But I can tell you that every time I was in an accident, spoiler alert, no one was hurt. I was going two miles an hour. One time, the car was parked. I wasn't even in it. So it's also important to know I have a very technologically advanced car. Sensors, buzzers, beepers, and nobody told me anything. So blind spots do happen. In my 46 years of driving, I have had two other accidents prior to this. Both times, the police report validated. I love being validated. It was not my fault. But this time, it was my fault two of the three times. An accident is an unintended, undesirable event that results in harm, injury, or loss. And it can occur unexpectedly, caused by human error or external factors as Alexa told me, and that's exactly what happened. The first one, it was almost snowing, I was running late, I backed up quickly, and I hit, in my own driveway, the car next to me, and got a scratch. And the second one, I wasn't even in the car. Me and my friend Laura, who's 86 and both under five feet, were trying to get this luggage cart uh, you know, out of the hotel to get our, our bags in. We put it on the curb, and while we were in the trunk, a gust of wind knocked it over, and it hit my car and scraped it. And in the third one, I was pulling out of a parking spot. It was dark. There were no lines, and I turned right too quick, and I scraped the side of my car. So what have I learned? Accidents are accidents. They happen. They happen. Two, I'm older, and I have more insurance, or at least a financing mechanism. I pay for the insurance. I can use it. It's a better way instead of going out of pocket for me, but I was always scared to use the insurance. Three, I have maximum tolerable downtime. This is taken from the disaster recovery world, and I'm okay without the car. I have insurance coverage for an alternate car while it's being fixed, and it's, the car is running, and I can get where I need to go. The fourth thing is I did not universalize or catastrophize. Oh, my God, my whole life is a mistake. I should have never gone out. No, accidents happen. I had a good time. Separate the two. Full stop. Move on. Five is my ability not to judge. I'm so grateful that other than my pride, I'm not a good driver, nobody got hurt. So what's next? I'm not sure if I lost one of my grandmother's earrings. I could let go of this easily, but I do know that not driving is not an option for me. So my ability to accept with this, deal with it, and move on is a direct accomplishment of all the emotional growth I've worked so hard for. And if the growth comes via a car accident, a car fix, I'll take it. Eileen Marcus, Aligned Workplace, blogging for 60 and Me. Have a great day.